Now, one other type of rope I really need to talk about is the kern mantle. We don't really use it much in the tree care industry, but there are some who do use it. I know it comes in both a static and dynamic style. Uh, what you've got here is you've got a very tightly braided cover that protects the primary load-bearing core. That's correct. However, this is not widely used in our industry, and it's not really applicable, is it? No, it's not used very much. The, even in, though it has a core, as you said, the core is the strength member, whereas on the 16 strand where there's a core inside really acting to firm up the rope and round it off, the primary strength of this rope is in the cover. That's right. As arborists, we like to be able to see some of that abrasion, be able to inspect our ropes to see some of the wear. And oh. the primary load-bearing member being the core, that would be hard to do, wouldn't it? That's definitely true because there's a lot of rope wear on, in our industry from uh, abrasion, obviously, uh, especially in natural crotch rigging, from dirt getting into the rope, uh, there's also other factors to take into consideration of the knots and uh, loading factor. When you put a load on the rope, it help reduces that rope strength just by a little bit each time. As tree workers, we tend to be pretty rough on our equipment. Now, you talk about rope wear and abrasion, but uh, the strength of rope and how rope uh, acts is also affected by how it's loaded, isn't it? Now, uh, I know that the tensile strength or the, the breaking strength, as it were, in a static pull uh, is, is, is often referred to when people are looking at, at, you know, at whether a rope is good for one application or the other. Uh, but there can be a little bit misleading, can't it? Because I see a lot of guys say, oh, this rope is you know, 20,000 pounds breaking strength, so that must mean I can load it to 20,000 pounds. But that's not really true for us, is it? No, we don't want to do that. You load it to 20,000 pounds, and theoretically it might break the first time, but even if in practice you did that, it would only be a handful of times maximum before it broke. Okay. Now, we in the tree care industry have set a design factor of 10, haven't we? Yes. So that ideally that rope, the tensile strength of 20,000 pounds, should be used to about 2,000 pounds each time. And as we said, uh, each time a, a rope is used or loaded, that's what we call a cycle, right? And so if we uh, use the rope to the design, the working load limit uh, of, let's say, 2,000 pounds on a 20,000 pound rope, then we're using it in that design factor that we, we, we want to, and that means that we'll get a lot of cycles, okay. won't we? Thousands of cycles under those conditions uh, okay. to our rope, which okay. means that the savings in money. And, and uh, Theoretically, right, if you loaded the rope to its, you know, to its tensile strength, then you might only get one or, or a handful of cycles. Correct. So we want to use our rope wisely so that we get many cycles before the rope fails. That's true. And another important factor to remember is that uh, design factor in one industry may be appropriate, but when it's brought the tools are brought over into our industry, that may not be appropriate, and we must set our own design factor and, and know how to take a break strength and divide it by our design factor to get our working load limit.